This boot-shaped nation in southern Europe is a top tourism destination due to a variety of factors, including its artistic treasures, picturesque cities, ardent citizens, and world-class cuisine. It is a location where you may visit some of the most famous landmarks in the world, including the Colosseum, the Trevi Fountain, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Dolomites are a mountain range in northeastern Italy that borders Austria. The Dolomiti have a culture and even a language all their own, though they do share some of the alpine styles of their nearby neighbors. With 18 peaks rising higher than 10,000 feet, the Dolomites also provide some of Europe's most breathtaking mountain vistas. The mountain's peaks are made of dolomitic limestone, rising steeply above lush valleys and attractive lakes that freeze in the winter. The area is well known for trekking in the summer and is a favored ski destination for Italians. For your upcoming holiday, Lake Como is the place you want to go if you really want to treat yourself. Here, luxurious hotels and villas border the coastline, and sandy beaches entice sunbathers. The middle of the lake, where you'll see svelte sailboats and speedboats coasting, is the ideal position to take in the area's hills. Visit a stately villa in the area for a lesson in luxury while you wait. Popular choices among tourists include Villa Melzi di Eril, Villa Carlotta, and Villa Balbianello. Later, explore the spectacular Como Cathedral, which combines Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architectural elements. Verona, most renowned for its Shakespeare connections, attracts Romeo and Juliet devotees with themed excursions of the locations reportedly used as inspiration for the play. Some outstanding attractions and historic structures may be found in Verona, which is located around 15 miles east of Lake Garda. The whole city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, after all. Visitors shouldn't skip the Arena di Verona, a functioning amphitheater from the 1st century AD, or the Giardino Giusti, a magnificently landscaped Renaissance garden. Milan, which was heavily bombed during World War II and was nearly devastated, has since recovered and is today one of the richest cities in Europe. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, the Last Scala Opera House, the Castle Sforzesco, and one of the greatest Gothic cathedrals in the world are just a few of the world-famous landmarks in Milan, which is renowned as a giant fashion center brimming with brand stores. Milan, a bustling city that excels in commerce, shopping, and football, is situated in the Lombardy region of northwest Italy, close to the Alps and the picturesque Lake District. Naples, the capital of the Campania region in southern Italy, is one of the busiest big cities in the nation. Naples makes a great home base from which to explore the region because it is close to well-known locations like the Bay of Naples and Pompeii. A never-ending feast for history and art enthusiasts can be found in Naples, which has one of the largest historic city cores in the world and one of the highest concentrations of historical monuments, Baroque churches, and Roman remains. Outside the city center, visitors can explore stunning countryside, charming villas, chic hotels, and castles in addition to historic Roman baths and volcanic craters. The vast Piazza del Plebiscito, the Royal Palace of the Capodiment Museum, and the National Archaeological Museum, which displays a wonderful collection of artistic creations and relics discovered from the ruins of Pompeii, are some of Naples' top tourist destinations. Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean, is situated on the constrained Strait of Messina, directly across from Italy's southernmost point. 
Its geographic position has made it a crossroads for a very long time, making its history, culture, and cuisine extremely different from those of the rest of the country. In addition, the island is home to numerous significant archaeological monuments, many of which are now among Sicily's most visited tourist destinations. Ancient Greeks erected some of the spectacular remains, such the ancient theater of Teramina and the ancient structures in the Valley of the Temples. Other structures, like the Alpine castles of Eris, were constructed during the Middle Ages. Sicily is known for its untamed beauty, its interior is dotted with beautiful agriculture and mountains, while its rocky cliffs and remote beaches are bordered by dazzling waters. One of the most active volcanoes in the world and the highest peak in Italy south of the Alps, Mount Etna, towers over everything. The Amalfi Coast is one of the most popular tourist sites in Italy and is located in the Campania region of the country's southwest. The Amalfi Coast, which stretches 30 miles along the southern tip of the Sorrento Peninsula, is renowned for its scenic shoreline, which includes glistening bays, precipitous cliffs, lemon tree gardens, brightly colored houses, and opulent resorts. Positano, one of the most charming and opulent villages on the Amalfi Coast, is known for its stunning pebble beaches, pastel-colored villas, picturesque mountains, waterfalls, and 13th-century Black Madonna, among other things. Amalfi, one of the bigger towns, has magnificent plazas surrounded by eateries and gift shops. The village of Ravello, which is perched on a hill above Amalfi, is well known for its stunning houses with gardens and works of art as well as its vibrant art and music festival. Fiorori, popularly known as the Painted Village, has a beautiful bay in addition to numerous homes that have mural painting on them. With its unique location on a lagoon encircled by the Adriatic Sea, Venice is one of the most popular tourist sites in Italy. Venetian is an archipelago of 118 islands connected by hundreds of gorgeous bridges and picturesque canals in northeastern Italy. The Grand Canal, the most well-known of the canals, splits the city in half. One of the most romantic towns in the world, Venice features beautiful rivers and ancient buildings. To view its stunning attractions like St. Mark's Square and Basilica, Doge Palace, and Rialto Bridge, Venice is frequently congested and pricey, but it is well worth the trip. A gondola ride around the Grand Canal is one of the most well-liked activities in Venice. Yet, taking a Vaporetti down the Carmbach canals is just as wonderful. Florence, the capital of Tuscany, is frequently referred to as a massive outdoor museum because of its abundance of artistic and architectural masterpieces. In addition to being known worldwide as the cradle of the Italian Renaissance, Florence is also recognized with the promotion of several artists, inventors, poets, scientists, and explorers. The abundance of museums in Florence, breathtaking churches like the dome-shaped Santa Maria del Fiore, and renowned art galleries like the Uffizi and Pitti Palace all house the city's treasure trove of works of art. The best approach to view the important sites in the city centre is on foot. The Ponte Vecchio, a stunning bridge spanning the Arno River and housing a number of jewellery stores, is among the best places to walk. Before returning to your lodging, Take some time to browse the marketplaces in Florence. One of the most well-known places for tourists to obtain a variety of foods grown locally and handcrafted handicrafts is the San Lorenzo Markets. Rome, which formerly served as the center of the Roman Empire's government, is now Italy's capital city. 
Rome, a sizable and complicated city that is both historic and modern at the same time, is situated in the Lazio region of the country's center. Rome has persisted for more than 2,500 years as a significant center for culture, politics, and religion. It is best recognized for hosting historic Roman ruins and the Vatican City. Rome is divided into a number of neighborhoods, with the Colosseo neighborhood in the city's heart housing some of the most historic sites, including the Colosseum, the Forum of Augustus, Capitoline Hill, and the Roman Forum. The Pantheon, magnificent cathedrals, plazas, and Renaissance-style buildings may all be seen in Old Rome, which is located on the outskirts of the city. St. Peter's Cathedral, the Apostolic Palace, and the Sistine Chapel are famous attractions at the Vatican. It can take months to see everything there is to see and do in Rome. A hop-on, hop-off bus trip is one method for visitors to see the best of the city, though. Tourists can hop on and off this bus trip whenever they like, and it makes stops at popular attractions and renowned museums.